architecture students this is your tutorial for creating a bifold door as a closet door in your bedroom alright so the first thing we want to take a look at is we've got our closet over here I went ahead and I just drew in a full wall make it a little bit easier and it's going to be a very similar process to creating the regular swing door instead the door is just going to be a little bit different but creating the opening is going to be relatively the same first thing what we're doing is for me my door in this bedroom was centered so if I measure this out I have seven foot opening or a seven foot wall I have a six foot bifold door so I'm gonna actually center six feet and seven feet meaning that on each side I'm gonna have six inches six inches plus six inches is our foot that we have left over so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start just like before I'm gonna go ahead and offset I'm going to offset six inches and I'm going to offset this line and I'm going to offset this line. I'm going to go ahead and trim what I don't need. So I don't need this, I don't need this, I don't need this, and I don't need any of that because that's going to be my opening. We know how walls come together that they're open. So right here I'm going to trim that and I'm going to come back down here and trim this. So remember, wall should be open. I have my opening that quick. It's very similar to what we just did with the doors. If you watched the doors and you completed it, you're doing almost the same thing, but with just different sizes. So now that I have all that done, I'm going to make sure that I'm on my doors and windows layer, and I'm going to start to draw in my door. Now with the bifold door, you're never going to draw it perfectly the right size that the manufacturer specifies it as. Instead, we have a six foot opening. A bifold door actually has four panels. There are <coughs> one side of the panel hinges, the other side of the panel hinges. So two, two uh, panels on one side, two panels on the other side. So that means we have four panels and we have six feet of opening and we want our panels to all be the same size so to do that we're going to do six feet divided by four and what we'll come up with is one foot six inches so if you add one foot six inches four times you will get six feet so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab my line command and I'm going to start on this corner and I am going to actually draw this I'm gonna use some polar coordinates I'm gonna draw this at one feet six inches oh, I accidentally locked that out one foot six inches and this is going to be at an angle that goes down into the left so that's going to be 225 and then I'm going to change this so I'm going to do that once again so it's going to be one foot so at one foot six inches make sure you have that add symbol in there and I'm going to use the less than symbol and I'm going to go down into the right which is going to be 315 and I'll have one of my bifolds. I'm going to do the same process down here. So I'm going to click right here. I'm going to go up and to the left. So that's at one foot, six inches, comma, and that is up and to the left, 135. And I'm going to now go 45. So at one foot, six inches, at 45. And I have my bifold door. That's simple. So if I were to measure each one of these out, they're one foot, six inches one foot six inches times four of these panels gives us six feet and that is our opening six feet so if we actually had these animated where they closed then they these two tips right here would actually touch each other and the door would be closed it would look like just one long blue line so that is our bifold door right there thank you for watching